Coming up today on Houston Life, it is time for us to spin and for one lucky insider to win on the Houston Life prize wheel. From top staycations to gift cards, even $1,000, you could be our next winner. Plus, it is day eight of my 12 days of stocking stuffers. Today, we have a product that will add some sparkle to your next holiday party. Then, the touching story behind Mahesh's Kitchen and their flavorful menu. Meet Sugarland's newest Indian-inspired restaurant. And we're going to meet a local 85-year-old on a mission to spread Christmas cheer across the globe. See how you can help him make his dreams come true this holiday season. All of that more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everybody. We made it to Friday, <laughs> Friday, December 10th, 2021. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. It's so good to see you. So good to see Friday. Couldn't come here fast enough. I know, right? It's been a roller coaster of a week, right? And I'm sure a lot of y'all feel just maybe a bit of added stress during the holiday season, right? Just a little bit. This week has been the longest month, let me just say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the tree is up. Thank you all so much for all of your suggestions and telling me where to go to get a tree and matching twinkle lights. We got it together. The second tree has now been put up. There so you I'm go. I'm very excited. Now I just have to put on the outside lights. That's okay. That's gonna all happen. gonna happen. It will. That's a win. But listen, we took a pause from decorating yesterday. I took AJ. We had a little mom and me date night um, after a little school event. We headed to the hobby center oh. and um, there we are there in the lobby to see Tut's production of The, the Little, Little Mermaid. Mermaid. Yeah. Y'all, this is one of my favorite Disney movies, of course. Do you know this debuted in 1989, the movie? You wow. recognize her? Oh, Christina Wells. Christina Wells. She is the sea witch and um, I have to tell you, this production of The Little Mermaid blew my mind. This scene here, this is the Under the Sea song. It was fabulous. They ended up coming in the aisles and everybody was part of it. They're blowing bubbles and it was really incredible. Christina, you knocked it out of the park. It's the second she walked out on stage, people were screaming and yelling and clapping for you. It was unbelievable. Oh, she looks so, so good. I cannot wait to see this. And the wardrobe department there, Colleen oh. Grady and Sandy, they all do such a good job. I mean, it is like next level world-class talent on that stage there at Theater Under the Stars. It really is, and bravo to everyone because it was so great to be back in the theater seats and, and in the theater to experience it. Everybody had that kind of pep in their step walking in, and it was worth the late night. AJ had to get up really early for band practice this morning, so it was worth so worth the late night, but I will tell you guys, please go see it. It is a wonderful production. I was telling you, the moment when the prince kind of uh, gets knocked out overboard, on the yeah. boat. The scene where they she dive, uh, dives, Ariel dives into the water to get him. The, the production of that, simple, yet so believable. She looked like she was diving in the water. It makes the audience feel as if oh. they are under the sea. Again, bravo, great arts, and go see this one. You will not be disappointed. Super cool. What did AJ think when all the actors came out into the aisles? Oh, he loved it. Yeah. He loved it. And I have to tell you, Flounder, Loved you too. So cute. That's so Sebastian nice. Sebastian is AJ's favorite. That so. is so, so nice. Okay, marking our calendars. We're, we gotta go see it. Also, mark your calendars for uh, this Saturday night. Yes. Tomorrow night. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. It is our Tis Island time. Holiday special all about Galveston Island. And we love the island so much. Every time I go down there, it's only 50 miles from downtown Houston. It's a short drive. And people often talk about the causeway effect. Like when you drive over the causeway, suddenly you feel yes. your blood pressure drop a little bit and you realize even though you're only a few miles from Houston, you feel like you're a world away, like you can just kick back and relax. It is so true. Orlando says that as soon as I hit the causeway, I, I loosen up my grip on the steering wheel and I'm already on island time. We love it. This special is so much fun. Of course, we're going to take you all throughout the island. Joe, Sam. Oh, well, first of all, I've got you shopping. I got yes. you covered from all over. Not only the Strand, we're going to take you to a couple other areas where all the locals like to go as well. We got 
you covered there. Joe is going to talk about transportation around the island. Um, you're going to do museums, right? Yeah, which are, you know, historic homes. The Bryan Museum, uh, well, there's Moody Mansion right there. Lovely. But the, the, the Bryan Museum, it, it's, the, it's the former uh, orphan home in Galveston. And it was actually a functioning orphanage until the 80s. So such great history in the buildings, but also the Bryan Museum. They've done such a good job. It's all decked out for the holidays. Cannot wait to take you inside. It's fascinating. I mean, it is fascinating. I can't also wait to go back and explore the museums when I have a full day to do it. I know. It's really great. Also, Lauren's going to have details on the Polar Express there. And I mean, can we talk about the that the pie the guido's pie i mean it is listen this is so decadent and lovely i i'm so glad they have it because it's just so beautiful it's legendary so they hand make these pies down in their shop every single day guido's was actually founded back in 1911 and this classic pecan pie they make it in the traditional round but also in the shape of texas yes it's those are great perfect gifts. gift it's great for a holiday party and it's just one of the many things we love about the island such unique gifts down there if you are looking for a one-of-a-kind gift Galveston's the place to go. They ship, uh, the pie ship too. So I don't know if we've hit the cutoff date, but we've we've done that many times for um, family out of town. So uh, join us Saturday, uh, December 11th at 7 p.m. The whole HL team is going to be on the island bringing you everything that you need to know. We had so much fun doing this special. We did. We did. It was great. Okay, so when we talk about the holidays, we always talk about things like traditions, right? From the food to the parties. I love this so much. I really want to start this. Best friend Lori and mom, I want to do this because I think you two would be hilarious at this. I'm going to tell you about a mom and a daughter. They have started this ugliest ornaments contest for each other. This is an article on Board Panda. So each year they try to outdo each other by buying each other the ugliest ornament. Look at this. Is that a TV it's dinner? It's a TV dinner. Oh, that's not ugly. That's sweet. No, but they just like over the years. So on this article, you can see everything that they've got. I don't even know what that is. I mean, the or it, it, it home alone. Oh, OK, OK. The sticky band. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are so funny. Some will make you just start like really scratching your head because you're trying to figure out what. Why is there an ornament like this? But there is one on the list that actually I, I have. <laughs> it's a horse head. I think I got it at like a crazy ornament exchange on something, but I think this is hilarious because not only you, every time you put it on the tree, you're going to go, yep, I know who that's from. You know, you could or also just maybe have a smaller tree with just the ugly ornaments. It's a great conversation. It is. It is. It reminds me of a time one of my best friends, Noelle, she would deliver these ugly arrangements to the office for me. One time it was like a ceramic bird holding like a dead stick. Okay. But it was, it was like she was trying <laughs> to. <laughs> out embarrass me at the at the office and uh, yeah after a while I really had a collection of stuff AJ's favorite crazy ornament that we have is a tooting Santa a what now <laughs> like tooting on the trumpet no toot toot P playing a holiday tune <laughs> it's got gas <laughs> wow. okay, well that sounds nice I mean I put it up today so I saw it and giggled oh my gosh well listen here is a holiday story that will just absolutely warm your heart so a couple weeks ago right before uh, Thanksgiving okay a grandmother was in a grocery store parking lot okay. this happened over in San Antonio and uh, she I guess wanted a space that another car was about to take so uh, she pulled a gun on him what? And she was arrested. And there's actually surveillance footage like of she... the woman threatening these people and saying she's going to do bad things with the gun to oh. them. So maybe uh, sh she was arrested. She, she did get her holiday shopping done. She did go home. Uh, there she is. Oh, Corpus Chris Christi. <laughs> Corpus Christi. <laughs> Uh, that is where it happened. There she is right there. Hi, Grandma. Um, not mine, someone else's. But just a reminder, maybe, you know, pump the brakes this holiday season. Be kind to one another. And yeah. uh, that parking space is certainly not um, worth threatening someone's life over. No, How about that? That is the craziest story. I like the ugly ornaments. Uh, story better. <laughs> okay, you win. You win. <laughs> All right, so we're going to cut into that, I hope. I think so. All right, uh, still to come from your easy bake oven to tickle me Elmo, we're chatting about the top childhood presents we had to have. Oh, how about the doll? Her hair grew and you could cut it. Oh, you just yeah. push your hand down. Anyway, I never got it. I wanted it. Later, we are spinning our Houston Life prize wheel. Find out who will be our next big winner. Houston Life will be right back.
Oh, holiday time. G.I. Joe's, Battleship, board games. I mean, it seems like generations have, like, the hot toy that they remember. Right. Well, there's always one of the season that you can't get your one, hands on. Remember fidget spinners? Oh. And, like, thrown yes. it way back, glowworms. And through the, through the decades, it's always something different. So what Christmas present do you remember most from childhood? Maybe one you received, maybe you wanted to receive. We actually have a survey up right now on clicktohouston.com. There's Tickle Me Elmo. That was major. That was after my time, but oh my gosh, I would have loved to Tickle Me Elmo as that a was, kid. That was a big one because you couldn't find it in the stores. I remember when uh, Connor was little. Um, this is so cool. So go head over to our web to um, clicktohouston.com and you can be part of the survey there. What was the one that you wanted? The doll that grew hair? I, what? Well, it just seems so fascinating. She had this hand that you would like push her hair and her hair would grow and then I guess you could cut it. I never got one. They seem super cool. I don't think they make you them You cut anymore. it and then the hair... The hair grows and then you can cut the hair and push the hand and then more hair grows. Oh. It's endless supply of hair. <laughs> I wanted a cabbage patch kid. You never got one? I got one way after. I, I'm not sure if it was, maybe it might have been a vegetable kid. I don't know. It was not, I don't think, I think it was an off brand. <laughs> it wasn't cabbage. a produce kid. <laughs> I think it was similar, like, but, but different. different. <laughs> but I remember because mine didn't come with like a certificate or something, so I was kind of bummed about that. And oh, I ended man. up getting a Cabbage Patch Kid like <laughs> way after. After it was after the, <laughs> the trend was. But remember, I told you for years I desperately wanted a talking parrot. I mean, year after year, I would ask Santa for one. But now I realize birds do not belong in cages, and I'm glad I didn't get one. They should yeah. be free, and roaming listen, free. And when you have one of those, they sometimes outlive their owners, so you have to will them. Yes, and that's just something I don't have time to do. <laughs> All right, let's bring in Lauren Kelly with our question Brandon. of the day. <laughs> you just inherited a parent. <laughs> I was going to say, if you haven't willed it yet, don't will it my way. Please I mean, don't. I, I love you, but I, I don't know. It's not really a gift that I would my like to take. I have a tortoise, and she is, her name is Beretta. She's 35 years old. Oh. And she's going to outlive all of us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 For sure will. But the parrot, you know, they'll repeat stuff. Oh, right. <laughs> right. That would get me in major trouble. Last thing I need. <laughs> It's like your toddler's going to school, right? The what? things that they tell their teachers. <laughs> anyway, we digress. Do you guys remember that Snoopy um, ice shaving machine? Oh, oh my gosh. Lauren I Kelly, I cannot so believe you just said bad. that. And then I got it. I got it for Hanukkah one year. And the red dye for the snow cone, it stained everything. My parents took away and never had to play with it again. Oh, I know. No. So I might have this to get it again very this year. Sad. Oh, sad no. end. I should know. To a great beginning. <laughs> Snoopy. I know, it's such a great thing, and it tasted so good. Oh. It's so good. All right, well, we want to hear from you guys, from Cabbage Patch Kids to Tickle Me Elmo. What was the must-have Christmas item when you were growing up? Got some great answers coming in today, and let's start with Miss Jody. Chalk and a piece of slate. I am old as dirt. It still brings back fond oh, memories. That's sweet. always a great gift. All right, Naomi says, I wasn't normal. I got a microscope, and I loved it. Oh. Hey, that's cool. I like that, Naomi. Andrea says, caboodles. Oh, oh my Courtney, word. Yes. Well. We had the great caboodle incident of 1987 between my sister and I. I got the cool hot item and my sister did not. Oops. We still talk about it to this day. That was such a great gift. I love they were bright colors. Yes. Held all of your things, even though you didn't have a lot of things. But you guys can head over to the Houston Life Facebook page and join our conversation. We will share more of your comments a little bit later on. You know what else was a really good one when I was young? The Light Bright. Uh, yeah. Remember the Light Bright? Mm -hmm. The commercial. Light Bright. Yeah. Light, light Bright. bright. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. And the Snoopy uh, Snow Shaver, yeah. I think it's still available. <gasps> $63.99. Oh, no. Oh, that's out wow. of my that's budget. A lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Maybe out they've improved the, the red dye by now. Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'll have to get it and try. Okay. With my we'll have a nephews. Snoopy party. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, guys. Time now to announce the KPRC2 Insider, who won tickets for the Trans-Siberian Orchestra show at Toyota Center. Congratulations to Jadiza from Umble. She also took home a Victrola Revolution Go turntable and a signed vinyl copy of Trans-Siberian orchestras, Christmas Eve, and other stories. And there are more KPRC2 Insider exclusive contests
contests that you can enter right now, including two opportunities to win a new 55-inch next-gen TV valued at more than $1,000. Okay, that is also a really good prize. Be sure to look out for these contests and more special content created specifically for our KPRC2 insiders at clicktohouston.com slash insider. Well, speaking of winning big as an insider, you can still win all of my 12 days of stocking stuffers after the break. We are sharing a gift idea, which is the perfect addition to your holiday cocktail hour. Oh, I'm very curious about this one, Courtney. Plus, say cheese. Tomorrow at nearly 30 HEBs in the Houston area, you can get a front row seat to see. Check this out, how they are cracking 80-pound wheels of cheese. We're getting a preview later on in today's show. Don't go away. Houston Life will be right back. We are in day eight of my 12 days of stocking stuffers. I have curated the perfect gift list that will cover all of your bases, all from local businesses to help us all shop small this holiday season. Today, I'm highlighting edible glitter. You didn't even know you needed this until right now. I found this at Pepper Lou Gifts. This is a great gift shop in Memorial, founded by a mother and daughter duo, Valerie and Ellie, in 2018. Pepper Lou Gifts is a unique gift shop highlighting gifts and stationery, home decor from small businesses in the community. It's fantastic. It's one of my go-to places. Whether you're looking for seasonal items, candles, gifts, or babies, kids, him, her, it truly is the one-stop shop for the entire family. Last Christmas is when I found this stocking stuffer for today. This is by Sugar Mama. It's called Sugar Mama Shimmer. It is $15, and what it is, it's cocktail shimmer. Okay, so I've got our cocktails here, and I this is the shimmer. It comes in this little um, container. I picked the gold, and that's actually what I have at home. But these come in a variety of colors. So you take your cocktail. You could do a Sprite. You can do um, sweet tea. You could do anything. You're going to add a little bit of this um, shimmer to your cocktail, just like so. And then you're going to stir, and you're going to see your cocktail have a little bit of a glitter to it. How cute is that? All different colors. It's not going to change the color of your taste of your drink. Nothing. It's just going to add a bit of sparkle to your beverage. Plus, to go along with it, you got to have stir sticks, right? These are so cute. Um, this is a little reindeer acrylic. This comes in a package of four. And let me see if I can get, there we go. It's a blush pink. So the hottest color of the season. They have a ton of these, so you can pick out or mix and match or do different ones for each drink. So you know who has what. By the way, the Sugar Mama Glitter is 100% edible drink glitter made from all FDA approved ingredients. The shimmer comes in several different colors. It's textureless, flavorless, and each sparkly container will dress up about 30 drinks. I think I have Lauren Kelly coming in. Um, come on in, girl. I'm going to let you make yourself a cocktail. I am um, so excited. I yeah. saw you have this last year. So this is so much fun. I'm going to let you okay. just a little dab will do you, okay. but you can make it as sparkly as you'd like. Okay. Let's Isn't it fun? It's so I pretty. It. And then it's stir so it up. Okay. I know you're right. a lefty. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to like elbow you. No, oh, no, no. You're, no, you're totally fine. So it's so fun. This is located Pepper Lou Gifts, of course, in the Memorial area. You can head to their website, pepperloubegifts.com, or head over to oh. Instagram as well. Sparkly Cheers. and shimmery. I have one question. Mm -hmm. Is everything else going to be sparkly as well? No. Okay. No, it's not. <laughs> Cheers, girl. But thanks Cheers. for asking. Happy holidays. Monday, we're going to have another great stocking stuffer from a local business. And if you missed any of the items, you can find them all on HoustonLife.tv or scan that QR code. It's going to take you to a full list plus the opportunity to register for one lucky KPRC2 insider to win all 12 of my stocking stuffers that I featured. So all of this coming up, you got head to the website. Cheers, Derek. We just miss you over here. Cheers. Um, excuse me. I'm a little parched, so well, if you could just save one, for, that would be okay. great. <laughs> okay. Parmigiano Reggiano cheese is one of the best known cheeses in the world. Its nickname is Italy's white gold because it is so carefully made with love. It's aged for years. And tomorrow, HEB is cracking open more than a ton, literally, of this delicious cheese.
Today, we are lucky enough to be getting a special preview of Crack and the Cheese. This is Melissa Rodriguez. We're at HEB in the Heights. And this is really cool because this Parmigiano Reggiano has been aging for two years. Yes. You're about to crack it open. You're right. And this is something that's happening in HEB stores all over the place on Saturday. Yes. Tomorrow at 1 p.m., there's going to be about 30 HEBs that are going to simultaneously crack. Uh, 80 pound wheels of parm, so it's going to be about one ton of parmesan that's coming out of the Houston area. So this is 80 pounds. We tried to lift this earlier, Melissa. It's quite heavy. And, it is. And cracking the cheese open, cracking this wheel, there's really an art to it. There really is, because um, I mean, this is a really special cheese. Um, it's been aging for two years, so you really want to treat this cheese with respect. You know, Parmesan Reggiano is the king of cheese, so you want to make sure that you're treating it the way it deserves. And it's only Parmesan Reggiano if it comes out of this specific region in Italy. Let's get cracking. Explain right. this process to me. All right, so I've already pre scored this Parmesan wheel, so you're going to score this rind all the way around. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to take my parm tools. I have almond knives, and I'm just going to start going in here and start rocking these back and forth to try and get this open. And then I'm actually going to need your help to flip this because we got to do it on both sides. I so. mean, no guarantees, but yeah, I'll do my best. I mean, so this is the only true Parmigiano Reggiano. Um, the Galley family has been doing this for over 80 years. That's the brand that we carry at HEB. All right. Okay. You're Which ready? way are we going? That okay. way? We're going to flip it over this way. Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. Oh, cool. There you go. This is a good workout. Good. Out. Okay. I can feel that it's about ready. You ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Moment of truth, Moment people. Moment of truth. Oh, wow. yeah. Look All right. At that. So I'm gonna give you a piece of this Parmigiano. If you've ever had fresh Parmigiano Reggiano when it first hits the air, this is I my mean, first time having it. Okay, out of the wheel. it's gonna change your life. Mm. What do you think? Mm. And you can taste the little crystals. Yes, the crystallization after it's been aging for 24 months. I mean, it's it's amazing. Oh my goodness, mm -hmm. that flavor is incredible. This is really cool. I can't believe you guys do this a number of times per week. Suddenly, I'm feeling a little thirsty though, yeah, Melissa. Me too. Yeah. And I do see a familiar face over there, Nicholas Perkins. Who we've had hey. in studio. Nick, it's great to see you. What's up, buddy? So nice to see you. Great so to see you. I couldn't let you come and have a fabulous Italian cheese without having a fabulous Italian wine. Mm -hmm. You always deliver, Nick. And, and Parmi Parmigiano Reggiano, it really pairs well with things like Prosecco bubbles. It sure does. So we pair the uh, Parmigiano with wines, with bubbles, whites, or reds that have little to no oak, that have bright acidity, and are quite fruit forward. And so we've chosen the Mianetto Valdebiadeni. This is a Prosecco Superiore DOCG, which really means something. That's an indicator of the highest quality for Prosecco. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is such a great way to start the day. Yeah. A little bubble, some fresh Parmigiano Jeez. Reggiano. Nicholas, it's great to see you. Always nice Cheers. to see you, Derek. We'll thank you. Good pod. luck. Thanks, thank you so much. And Melissa, thank you again. Tell us where we can watch this happen at our local HEB on Saturday. Okay, so there's going to be 30 different HEBs. Just make sure you check with your local cheese shop. It's going to be in the cooking connection department, so they'll be front and center. And then all the cooking connection managers are going to be making really great recipes. We'll have recipe booklets, lots of samples, so you'll be able to try the exact same Parmesan, freshly cracked. Just go to your HEB tomorrow at 1 p.m. It's beautiful. It tastes great. And that was such an interesting process to watch. Thanks so much for letting me be yeah. part of it. Thanks so much for coming out. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. This was one of the most interesting field trips, Courtney, I've ever been on. Look at this so beautiful cool. cheese. So cool. What a great experience. I always wondered about how that happens. Yeah, well, and an entire 80-pound wheel of cheese, in case you're wondering, that's around $1,700. 80 pounds, and it takes 131 gallons of milk to make each one of those wheels. That's crazy. <laughs> Isn't and how it? long does it, does it stay like that? You said two years. Two years. Unbelievable, but what a cool thing because you, you never see that process. Yeah, so you don't don't cut the cheese, crack it open. How about that? Crack the cheese. You got to crack the don't cheese. Cut it. And don't forget that tomorrow at 1 p.m. at nearly 30 HEB stores in the Houston area, you can watch them also crack an 80 pound wheel of that Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and try a sample for yourself. It is so delicious. For more info, you can visit HEB.com. All right, why don't we send it on over to Joe Sam now? Hey, Joe. Hey guys, that's right. Coming up, we're heading inside Mahatia's kitchen, not only to get a look at the amazing Indian food, but to learn more about the driving force behind the restaurant. And we'll get a check of what's coming up for the news at four, including a look at your weekend forecast. Houston Life is back in two minutes.
Welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you on this Friday at 3.30. I just showed a picture of the Cabbage Patch dolls my mom has, and Courtney <laughs> kind of freaked out. I mean, dolls freak you out. Dolls do freak me out. I don't know why I wanted a Cabbage Patch doll when I was younger. They do. They freak me out. Okay, well, you're not alone. They do a lot of people. Why don't we get more of your comments on today's question of the day? We asked from Cabbage Patch Kids to Tickle Me Elmo, what was a must-have Christmas item when you were growing up? Okay, Jessica writes in, we didn't celebrate Christmas growing up, but I remember when Cabbage Cabbage Patch Kids came out and were all the rage. I like this theme we're going on today. Mm -hmm. I, of course, wanted one, but they were sold out, so my mom made me one. 80s kids will remember these. You'd buy the head and make the body out of pantyhose. Oh, my gosh. It was yes, the I do. Doll I've ever seen. Do you still have it, Jessica? Please send me a photo. Allison writes in the Barbie Dream House. Allison, I know, but then it collapsed on me and I didn't <laughs> want it anymore. <laughs> Okay, okay. And I pulled Denise, the elevator string. You have got to be careful around those Barbie dream houses. I've told you this a million times. Denise writes in, before there was PlayStation, there was Atari, needed, wanted, got. Yes, Atari, Denise. Atari, yes, and the sounds and the screen. We never had one, but I knew people who did. We had Atari, and it was just... Yeah. It was just a black screen with like green. It was very innovative basic. at the time. It was, yes, next level. <laughs> Definitely. All right, let's check in with Keith, Christine, and Justin for a look at what's coming up at the top of the hour. Guys, anything on the list from when you were kids? I, mean, I, was all, I was all about G.I. Joe and Evil Knievel. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For me, a bedazzler. Remember oh, that? Bedazzler. Bedazzled everything. Yeah, that's right. I also that's had a right. dolly, though, Courtney, that would freak you out. Oh, no. Raggedy Ann. Okay, <gasps> I loved her so much. Yeah. But I loved her a little too much over the years. Her face ended up, like, you know, coming yeah. apart, and oh. her feet were coming apart. So my mom oh, no. took a T-shirt and put it over her face, oh, okay? Good. And, like, I drew eyes on it. And then oh, she put boy. socks on the bot. I mean, it was terrifying. Oh, now they look back on it, but I loved her so much. You, yes, that was your buddy. But so it was a doll was that like were nightmares made. Annabelle at this point. Right? <laughs> yeah. Annabelle. Yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> Nice I, I love Dolly. Does, she, does Jessie know is she locked somewhere in a, in a container in you know, the basement? She, she you can't open is. it up. Isn't that terrifying to think about, though? Oh my She's gosh. in a box, and you open the lid, and she just sits up and looks what at you. Literally, like one eye, like that was drawn out with sharpie. She starts rocking in a rocking chair by yeah. herself. You're like, you're like, hi, dear, I'm back. Oh my gosh, it's terrifying. But I, oh, that's weird. That's, that that's scary. Christmas, to think not about. Halloween. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, but I did love my bedazzler. But Dazzlers are great. Of, yeah. legs. I agree with Corey. We had an Atari 2600 when I was growing up, but I had the original that had the paddles so you could play Breakout and then eventually Super oh. Breakout. Oh, oh cool. very kids. fancy. That's right. Yeah, it was good stuff as well. <laughs> and by the way, Eric, uh, Derek, I am super, super jealous that you got to crack a cheese wheel of the Reggiano. Guys, oh, I'm yeah. telling you, it was so one of the cool. most interesting stories I've ever been yeah. on. And the taste, it's oh amazing. my gosh, I can't even describe it. It was so good. Yep. It's a good one, I'm telling you. It's one of my favorites. If you, if you ever haven't tried it, try it with all kinds of different combinations of fruit and meats and prosciutto and see what you like. So, all right, let's talk numbers, guys. As we expected, we were going to see the highs fall again today, and that is where we are so far. 84 at Bush, 84 at Hobby, 79 at Galveston. That's the spot we'll watch for the rest of this afternoon. But beat those records, and look at when they were set back in 1939. So it'll give you an indication it just does not get this warm this late in the season. And we're still sitting right at about 83 right now. You can see the clouds have been rather think the wind has been an issue as well. We'll talk about that coming up at four o'clock, but these temperatures basically are holding a lot of juice, and this is what we're going to be watching for. This tornado watch box just popped up across portions of Arkansas in towards Memphis and southern Illinois. There's the low itself and the snow, which is going to get real intense on the backside of that in the front. There's not much to it just yet, but there will be over the next 24 hours. The good news is, is that we're still in the low one out of five category in terms of any kind of trouble, but they've increased the threat right about where that tornado watch box is four out of five. We're likely going to be looking at a potential uh, substantial severe weather outbreak late tonight and early tomorrow. So let's time it out for this evening. No change in the temperatures, but watch the timing on this. Here comes the front right around three, four o'clock through Conroe Tombaugh in towards Bush Airport right into downtown about 5 a.m. Notice by seven o'clock it's at the coast and then look at the colder temperatures that build in behind that. We're talking about 50s for highs as we get into the afternoon and that strong north wind is going to have a little bit of extra bite to it as well. So Keith and Christine, this will be the big story in about 24 hours time. It is certainly going to feel a lot more like December than feeling more, let's say, like early June that we've been in. Hey, we know you'll have more coming up in just a few minutes, Justin. Thank you. A look now at some of the stories we're following for our news at four. If you're getting ready to book some travel next year, Southwest Airlines will have a new fare option for you. The airline currently has three options, business select, anytime, and 
Wanna Get Away Fairs. Coming up at 4, a look at what the fair level could be and when it could take off. And we know you've heard about the supply chain issues impacting everything from holiday gifts to grocery store shelves. Well, here's one more impact. A look at how the issue is impacting holiday tamales and the shortage that we could see of these tasty treats this holiday season. And we are getting crafty today at 4. We're going to show you how to repurpose those holiday sweaters. A look at how to create new holiday items from the old. These stories and much more are coming up on the news at 4 o'clock. Would that work for my dolly? <laughs> That dolly's gonna need a little more help, I think. Y'all can't drop those two stories and say, I'll see you in 30 minutes. Yeah. I mean, I need more information. On the tamale shortage. Hello. I know. I, mean, I know. That's, that's groundbreaking right that's there. Not, just 25 sense. minutes. Stay on the couch when, when, when you're done yeah. there and just, and and just listen. I don't want to upcycle my sweaters. I want to wear them. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. Just, just watch. Just, just. <laughs> Just stop talking. It's a newscast. It's not interactive. Just watch. <laughs> Just watch the story. Okay, there is a new upscale Indian restaurant in Sugarland Town Square. It is called Mahesh's Kitchen, and the menu is filled with colorful, flavorful dishes. Joe Sam got a taste of those dishes while learning more about the inspiration behind the restaurant. Hi, Joe. Hey guys, yeah, and the food was absolutely incredible. You can see these pictures right behind me. Now, Mahesh is open in September shortly after its owner and her family's lives were turned upside down from a very dark and tragic event. Now they're using their love of food and family to pay tribute to one very special person. Hi, my name is Shubhangi Musel, and I am the owner of Mahesh's Kitchen. We are an Indian upscale restaurant. It's a good mix of all the different kind of cuisines that we get in India. This whole concept came into play with my younger brother, Mahesh Paranik. We had been talking about this over almost a decade. He was actually studying in French cuisine. And I've been cooking from, I don't know, when I was a teenager, so I was very strong in Indian cuisine. So we were like, maybe let's do a fusion. So we used to always say that, oh, Town Square is such a beautiful location. And Mahesh personally used to come down in this area, hang out with his friends, have a good time. So there's so many memories connected to this area. We both really wanted to do something different. And after Mahesh passed 2018, everything just kind of went on a pause. But with the consent of my family, the Peronic family, and the support, we were like, we have to do this for him. This is for him. This was his dream. And I think he put that dream into my heart. And he's a driving force. We have a fantastic team. Our general manager, Remy, he's out of the world. I have awesome cooks back there who know exactly what and how I want to present the food, how I want the taste and the flavors to come out. So hats off to them. We see people come in and smile. They feel what we are trying to present, uh, that extra love and attention. Every single person that works here makes sure that any customer that walks in here is taken care of. What we've tried to do is try to bring out some of the aspects that Mahesh or his qualities that he has. And for Mahesh, he could just touch any heart, any soul. And that's something that we try to do here. Even if he's not here physically, he is still spiritually my guiding force. Yeah, Musel says Mahesh's dream of becoming a chef has become a reality through her, and she plans on keeping his memory alive with each and every single dish. For more information about Mahesh and how to book reservations there at the restaurant, I have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. The food there really just showcases family, love, tradition, and culture. When I had any one of their dishes, it just put a smile on my face. Wow. Well, I think hearing mm -hmm. the story, too, mm -hmm. putting it all together of why uh, they opened, it makes it even more meaningful. Absolutely. She said if she opens anything else, she's going to keep his name on there. She's never going to put her name on it because this is his dream. She wants to bring it to life. And it's a beautiful way to keep his memory alive. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Absolutely. Nice. Well, coming up, it could be your turn to spin and win. We are talking about the Houston Life prize wheel and the $1,000 is up for grabs and it could be yours. Plus the story of how a Christmas song penned by a local musician found its audience 54 years after it was written. Houston Life will be right back.
Fridays because you know what that means. It's time for the Houston Life Prize Wheel where we spin for you to win some pretty cool prizes like Landry's gift cards, a family fun pack, $1,000. And this week, Courtney, we have added a brand new prize to the wheel. It's a weekend stay at the Post Oak Hotel, which is so fancy. So fancy. Today we are spinning for Candice Lilybridge, who is joining us live via Zoom from Summer Creek area. Hi, Candice. Welcome to the show. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Derek. How are you? We are great. Thank you so much for watching the show and being a KPRC2 insider. Tell us a little bit about yourself. We know that you have um, twin daughters, a son, and uh, you're super busy. Are you in a continuing education class? I am, but we're on a break, so I get a moment to talk with you. Um, those are my two beautiful 18-year-old daughters, Heather and Holly, and I have a 15-year-old oh. named Scott. That was probably an older picture. Uh, we have a great time. We go to a lot of concerts and a lot of movies, and um, we love to hike and spend a lot of time outdoors together. Oh, my goodness. It is clear that you all... I say hi to my husband, John. And, and hello from us to your husband, John, as well. Clearly, you will have a great uh, connection there. You have worked in uh, the physical therapy arena for more than 30 years, I understand, and you're taking a continuing education course right now just to brush up on your skills. Is that right? No, I'm actually going to get certified to work with scoliosis clients for a very nice program that's trough based which is spinal correction oh fantastic nice. that is wonderful and i know that earlier you said you like to do a lot of hiking and uh that you were also a girl scout troop leader for many years yes i was a co-leader with my friend betsy for over 10 years for 12 girls that stayed in girl scouts all the way to their senior year in high school and they graduated last year oh that is Very so great candace well what do you say uh we spin the wheel so you can win big sound good yes i hope i hope you have a lucky spin for me okay lucky Your spin turn. my turn i'm gonna spin left-handed and here we go big money come on Derek. that's a big spin Round and round this wheel goes. Oh my Where gosh. will she land? And I think it's going to be on $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, what are you going to do Perfect. with the money? Oh, that is so awesome. Congratulations, Candace. <laughs> I'm telling you. Thank you so much. Thank you, KR, taking our seat. Very, very and nice. Very important. So you said Christmas time and two girls uh, in college. I'm sure the money will be well spent, Candace. It will. Yes, thank you again. I feel so blessed. That is so great. Our producers will be in touch. And also thank your instructor for allowing you to step out of your uh, continuing education <laughs> class to win big on the Houston Life Prize Wheel. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm so excited. Thank you. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Same to you. And if you would like your chance to win and spin and win live on the show, all you have to do is join our KPRC2 Insider program. Just head to click to Houston.com slash insider to sign up. Give me some, bro. My lucky left hand. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm telling you, we're so happy for you, Candace. Now let's check in with Lauren Kelly, who has a fun way we can all enjoy the holidays. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Derek, lefties are always in the right state of mind, right? right? Yes. Well, Artavia is a beautiful master plan community located in Montgomery County on Highway 242, developed with the goal of bringing art and nature together. Artavia features 10 model homes, eight home builders, and is guaranteed to have something for everyone. And this weekend, they've got an event going, and I chat with Lisa Connell from Artavia about what you can expect to see. Well, all of our model okay. homes, all 10 of them, have been festively decorated just for the holidays. Uh, as you'll see, we have Christmas lights on the outside, and each of the homes has a unique feature that enhances the already natural beauty that the builders have designed, but we've added some holiday decor. You can come out sip on some hot cocoa and uh, just enjoy the home tour as well as view available inventory homes that we have to offer for that you may be able or want to move in either before the holidays or into the next year. The bonus of all of that is you can uh, any home that you tour you can enter for a chance to win a magical trip. Well, to check out the beautiful holiday decorations or just to enter to win, head over to artaviatx.com. And of course, we will have a link on our website at houstonlife.tv with all the information. Just to reiterate, that is a magical trip. A uh, hint, hint, magical, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. They're going to give it away. Now, that is the... <laughs>
Come on, Derek. My ears are up here. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Hello. I was wondering what was going on. Sorry. Keep now that up. is going to be happening. You can register to win throughout the month of December. So through December 31st, you can do that. You guys saw I was live out were, there yeah. last Friday, and this is one of the most beautiful communities I've ever stepped into. I almost was like, where do I sign on the dotted line? I was going to ask. Magnificent. It does not feel like you are in Houston. Absolutely, definitely check out RDVATX.com. I know you're a fan. And yes, absolutely. We Looks can't great. wait to come visit you when you and Gabe build a house up there. <laughs> okay. Just going to plant that seed now. <laughs> After the break, meet the local great grandfather on a quest to get his Christmas song heard around the world. There he is. We're going to meet him when Houston Life returns. Well, welcome back. He got his own Christmas miracle two years ago when a Yuletide song he would wrote in 1965 was played on a local radio for the first time. But this holiday season, 85-year-old Johnny Gondison has another dream for his track, Christmas is Here. The local singer-songwriter joins us now with more on this inspiring story. Okay, so back in the 60s then, you recorded this song, and then a couple years ago, it was actually played on the radio on KRBE. How did it all happen? Well, uh, they uh, got word of it from uh, a YouTube that uh, my son had made with me in the Christmas uh, Santa suit, and we had it on a YouTube, and, and they, for some reason, got hold of it, and then they got hold of my son and asked me if I would come and uh, sing the song on uh, live TV, and so I did. I'm sorry, on, on, on radio. 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 We're looking at Ruland Ryan there <laughs> yeah. from 104. Ruland Ryan, yes. How yeah. fantastic for that to happen to you. And I know uh, you wrote the Christmas song uh, for your daughters in 1965, who were four and five at the time. Uh -huh. um, and it, they were inspired by a trip from Galveston to Houston, is that right? We were uh, looking at Christmas trees okay. driving. And when we passed these uh, lots where they had Christmas trees, uh, they had them underneath these tents and all these lights around it. And they would point to these trees and say, ho, 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 ho. And I would always tease them. You know, I'd say, he, he, he. And they'd say, ho, ho, ho. So when I got home that night, I stayed up kind of late and uh, I wrote the song for them. Oh. And uh, I called it Christmas is Here. Well, we can't wait to hear it. And a little bit more about you. At six years old, you made your first <laughs> guitar out of a bamboo stick, you said? Yes, yeah, a little small piece of bamboo, and I put a little hole in it, and I had some old screen wire from a screen came off of a house, and I put some wire across it. And I strummed that, and I used to listen to the radio a lot, and I knew all of the songs by heart. And I would play them songs and sit out there on the porch, and everybody would listen to me play them. Well, we're looking at these these photos of you and, and bringing it right back. I just, I love all these pictures. Let's bring it to today because there's a little bit of a challenge going on and the plan, what, what do you want to do with your song? I want my song to be worldwide and I want all the children to be able to uh, hear it every Christmas and it, it would be my legacy. That's what I would love it to be. Well, I think you're going to get there. Uh, you want to have 10,000 streams uh, and playing in at least 50 countries. So uh, we're going to help you get there. How does that sound? That sounds wonderful. Let's do it. Okay, for a link to connect with Johnny, head to our website, HoustonLife.tv. Click on the Scene on Houston Life section. Okay, and I believe, Johnny, you are about to perform live Ooh. for us. Remember, okay. Johnny wants to get to more than 10,000 streams, so be sure to listen to the track on all major platforms. Share it with your loved ones. And now, without further ado, here is Johnny Gondison with Christmas is Here. <laughs> Coming down the chimney With the sack full of toys For girls and boys To find on Christmas morning I worked all year To bring them cheer I can't believe that Christmas is here Ho, 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 hee, hee, hee Coming down the chimney With the sack full of toys For girls and boys To find on Christmas morning. 
children whisper in my ear and tell me what to bring each year. Oh, 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 e, e, e. coming down the chimney with a sack full of toys for girls and boys to find on Christmas morning. I'm dancing around the Christmas tree. My bells are jingling merrily. Oh, 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 yee. Thanks so much for joining us today on this Friday. And remember, on Monday, we're going to have day nine. Of your 12 days of stocking stuff. Yes. And we've been getting a lot of response about this. So remember, if you want to win all 12 prizes, you have got to register to become a KPRC2 insider. It sh you sure do. All right. Well, happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. That does it for Houston Life. We're going to send it on over to Keith and Christine in Studio A. Hi there. Enjoy those glittery drinks this weekend, you guys. Oh, thank oh, we you. We will. Love it. I'll see you guys on Monday. <laughs>